hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so today in this video i have a great news for you guys now every linux lover or linux user waits for the new version of ubuntu and good news for you that ubuntu 23.10 is going to be released now currently the beta version has been released so in this video we will take a look of the beta version of the ubuntu and basically from this version ubuntu decides its future what will be its roadmap because now ubuntu starts using google's flutter to write any new application uh, the ubuntu uses new installer that is written in flutter and from this release that is ubuntu 23.10 now ubuntu introduces a new app center and that is written in flutter also this video will be very very interesting okay so don't skip any part of this video and if you like this video then of course hit the like button and subscribe my channel okay so without any further delay let's jump into our main topic today as of now the beta version is released so ubuntu 23.10 beta version is uh, is here and this is the link okay i will put the link in the description below and so you can see that uh, this is for the 64 bit pc so uh, just click here and well you can see uh, that the downloaded uh, downloading has started or if you want to download through the torrent okay so you have to just scroll down and here uh, you will see that ubuntu 23.10 uh, uh, beta desktop iso torrent so just click here so the torrent file will be downloaded and uh, with any uh, bit torrent client you can download via torrent okay i will recommend to download via torrent since it is a beta version so when final uh, version will be released in october then uh, you should use it as a daily driver in your main pc so after downloading the iso and let's uh, see that in the virtual box uh, that how you can install this ubuntu 23.10 okay so i'm just powering up my virtual box and here we will notice that uh, the ubuntu iso that is 4.8 gigabytes of size and this is the first boot and this is the grub screen and you will notice the grub version is 2.12 so very much latest grub version the previous release had the grub version 2.0 uh, uh, 2.06 okay so try or install ubuntu just hit enter this is the default ubuntu uh, animation plymouth theme and now uh, you have the option to choose your language so english is the default one and then you are getting the two options okay so try or install ubuntu so i am choosing uh, install ubuntu next and so this is the keyboard layout all these things keep default okay so i don't want to connect the internet just now or you can use a wired connection right now and uh, yes and uh, default installation so the minimal thing will be installed and this is the expanded installation i'm choosing and of course install the third party software for uh, graphics and wi-fi hardware and uh, you have to download all the media codecs for uh, playing the uh, audio and uh, video formats okay and that needs a non-free software right so just uh, click uh, next all right so since uh, it is in the virtual box so no partitions are there so erase whole disk and install ubuntu so next and you can see uh, since i am using the uefi mode so a fat 32 partition will be used as the uh, efi partition mount point will be slash boot slash u efi and another partition is of ext4 type so click install and the installation should start well and meanwhile you have to choose the location so this is my location in india click next now i have to choose my username all right and i have to choose my password okay one digit password is enough for me <laughs> uh, next okay so you can see the installation process has started so i am now pausing the video okay so after installation this is the default look of the ubuntu 23.10 so let's first talk about the uh, desktop environment now ubuntu actually uses the customized gnome okay uh, for its own needs and the default look and this ubuntu 23.10 brings with the modified gnome 45 
so you can see this is the gnome 45 look and this is of course modified because here is the ubuntu dock you can see and in the gnome 45 i have already made a video that what are the new features of uh, the vanilla version of uh, gnome 45 so uh, you must uh, watch that video okay for, to see all the features in the gnome 45 so you can see uh, this is a workspace switcher this is new in gnome 45 and also the uh, full height sidebars you can see so this is the nautilus file manager and the main uh, menu is here you can see the 45 version and if i go to the system settings so you will notice uh, many things so suppose uh, the privacy panel uh, this is now uh, redesigned i i am showing you guys so this is you can see this is the privacy panel so this is redesigned privacy panel and also in the about section now this is the new thing system details so if you click here so you are getting many system details so the left hand side the hardware information you can see the amd ryzen processor and the GNOME you version is 45 you can see the default system is uh, wayland but if you but if you see the uh, live system the x11 is using but the default one is wayland of course and the linux 6.5 the latest kernel is using and this is the ubuntu uh, development branch because currently it is in beta phase now let's see the look and feel so if you right click here and change the background so you can see many uh, desktop wallpapers this is this is newly designed for this version so all these wallpapers you can see here so wallpapers are amazing amazing collection ubuntu has given so i really uh, like these wallpapers and also you can see uh, now the default uh, mode is uh, light mode i have chosen uh, when installing the system now uh, the main thing is that now the default look is the bright look and also the gnome shell is using the bright theme you can see and if you click the dark so all the things turns dark including the gnome shell theme okay currently it is not uh, dark but uh, when you uh, log out and log in so this will be uh, turns dark so then that is that is very important thing because no mixed themes are there okay so all things will be dark or light whatever you choose and of course these are some accent colors you can see and excel colors are applicable mainly uh, to the icon theme so you can see this is the uh, yaru icon theme it is using and in the accent colors suppose uh, you can see suppose this accent color so you can see the icons has changed so basically uh, but the accent color is not applicable to this uh, sidebar or in the uh, gnome shell okay so that uh, that is noticeable thing and another big big change is the new app center so you can see here just click here this app center is actually a flutter based app center and this is completely different from the gnome software now gnome software is not installed uh, by default and this app center is the future of ubuntu you can see when you go to the about section so you will see that this is the version 1.0.0 and it is in alpha stage so very early release it is so now what is the main thing about this uh, app center so uh, you can uh, access the snap apps and of course deb apps okay that is the native packages also here so i'm just uh, showing you guys so suppose uh, i'm searching for an app suppose gimp you know the popular uh, uh, image editing tool so you can see and in the search results you will see that these are the snap packages and these are the debian packages and you know that uh, uh, i don't know that uh, you like snaps or debian packages but i think most of the audience use the debian packages and they love it because of their uh, smaller size okay and uh, easy to install or uninstall and they are not updating in nature but snaps are uh, you can save uh, latest version uh, the snaps uh, gives always the latest version and but uh, these are uh, auto updating in nature and also this is very uh, bulky so very big size data you have to download okay so suppose uh, i'm going to this uh, day package so you can of course install the day package but uh, uh, no uh, 
uh, memory is mentioned that is uh, how much size you have to download is it, it is not mentioned here and if you also install it then no option for opening this of course it is in early stage this app center okay so uh, extra functionalities will be added in future definitely and also i am just uh, showing you the snap application of kim so in the snap application you are getting many channels so you can see some developmental channel or whatever okay so some channels uh, you will see here so you can uh, switch channels and of course the download size uh, it, you can see uh, 546 mb and many things you can see uh, from the snap store okay so this uh, app center is especially developed for actually promoting the snap packages i can uh, say but of course uh, they are giving uh, ubuntu team is giving also uh, the option to install the day packages also and that that is really good i support this decision okay so this is the future of the ubuntu this app center uh, actually uses very less ram and it starts and quits really well okay uh, but the gnome software was uh, heavy and uh, and was problematic okay in in that case okay because it was uh, resource heavy so this flutter based um, app center is really amazing and i definitely uh, say that uh, very good job ubuntu team and here in the uh, manage tab uh, some updates uh, you can notice here you can check for updates from here and you can install all the updates from here and also apt package manager is also there so if you try to install uh, from the command line then of course uh, app command is there okay and uh, you can also install the synaptic package manager to uh, graphically install or uninstall any dev packages so many categories are there now some difference uh, between the ubuntu and the default gnome is that uh, uh, when you uh, see the software so basically uh, the image viewer is the uh, eye of gnome here but the latest uh, gnome 45 okay vanilla version actually uses the loop image viewer so ubuntu uh, keeps uh, this uh, same as the eye of gnome and also the uh, camera camera software is cheese here but in the latest to gnome 45 uh, you are getting the uh, snapshot and in the default softwares you can see full libreoffice suite is installed so libreoffice uh, 7.6 you are getting here and also gparted is installed and the gnome disk are also installed here after installation uh, you need uh, two packages at least uh, you need to install uh, for the better functionality one is the extension manager and one is the gnome tweaks okay so first of all let's see the gnome tweaks now in the gnome tweaks you can see uh, the appearance settings are these so you can change the cursor themes and also a uh, huge collection of icon themes of the yaru icons mainly okay and also the gnome shell theme you can change from here but i actually unable to change the gnome shell theme i don't know why okay maybe it will be fixed in the final version and also the sound and the legacy application uh, you can choose uh, from here right so i'm choosing suppose this okay so these uh, the and all the other options of the gnome tweak you are getting here now the very uh, great uh, uh, software is the extension manager okay but the fedora repository don't have this software but this is actually a great software okay actually i can say this is an essential part of the gnome desktop so this is the extension manager and you can see you can browse the extension from here and also install uh, from here and then these are the installed application and here also you are getting uh, the options uh, to use the extension so i have installed this uh, user themes extension and these are the system extensions so these these are uh, inbuilt and i have used uh, this user theme so i can uh, change my uh, gnome shell theme and of course you can install any extension some popular extensions uh, you can you can search and uh, so that's all for today i have so this is uh, all about the ubuntu 23.10 uh, version so if you like this video and if it is helpful then hit the like button subscribe my channel and um, so that uh, i will <laughs> make the videos in future and you uh, get notified of my videos okay so so thanks for watching guys and see you in our next video very soon till then take care and goodbye.